Thanks for joining this quick how-to screencast brought to you by Salesforce Support. To see more content like this, hit subscribe. In this video, we're going to learn how to review data loader output files. After an insert, upsert, or export, data loader generates two CSV files that contain the results of the operation. One file name starts with success and the other starts with error. At this point, you'll be prompted to save these files and it's a best practice to rename these to something unique that indicates what the data is within, like account import success and the date of the import, because you're going to need to use these files later on. Before you save the files, you can use Data Loader CSV File Viewer to see a limited number of records. But to see all the records in the file, go to the folder where you saved the file and open it. Here's an example of what can happen if you don't follow the best practice to rename the files. There are several CSV files named success and error, a set from every time you've done an import, export, or upsert. If you forgot to rename your files when you saved them, you can do that now by viewing the timestamp to find the files that were just created. I'll rename this with success, the date, the object name, and operation type. I'll do the same with the error file as well. Here's another suggestion. The error files are very descriptive and usually give you information about why the operation failed. When looking at an error file, it's best to expand the spreadsheet since the error is always in the last column. In this first example, the error is duplicate username. I was trying to insert usernames via data loader and apparently this row failed because the username had already been used. In this second example, the error is required fields are missing. I was inserting a new record and forgot to include a required field. Here we can see specifically that the missing field was an external ID field. When inserting new records, all required fields are needed. In this third example, the error is close date invalid date. I was inserting the wrong date format in the date field. There's a specific date format to use. For more information on date formats, review the link at the bottom of the screen. We've also put this link in the short description of this video for you. Suggestion 3. The success files will always have the Salesforce ID field, regardless if the operation was an update, insert, or export. The ID field will be in the first column. Salesforce IDs are necessary for many data operations. They can be used for lookup fields and parent-child relationships. For example, every opportunity or case record requires the account ID. So if you're importing those types of records, you must have the parent account ID. The last suggestion is to clean up the file before using Data Loader. For more information on preparing a CSV, review the link at the bottom of the screen. We've also put this link in the short description of this video for you. Keep in mind that in order to follow these steps, you'll need API permissions and access to the data being altered. If you're interested in using Data Loader and do not have those permissions, please contact your system administrator for assistance. For more information, check out help.salesforce.com or join us on the trail at trailblazer.salesforce.com.